Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to read Froggy's Day with Dad. It's by Jonathan London. We've read several other Froggy books. We've read Froggy Plays T-Ball, we've read Froggy Gets a Doggy, and we've read Froggy Rides a Bike. All of these books are by the same author. They all have the same character, and this author is really great about helping us read with expression. He uses a lot of exclamation points. He wants us to read with our excited voice. And he does things with his text, with the writing itself, with the words, to help us see how we should be reading it, to make it sound like it's really happening. Let's read Froggy's Day with Dad. And we're going to read for two things. We're going to find out what character trait he shows. And we're going to focus on reading with expression. Froggy, called his mother. What, cried Froggy. Rise and shine, said his mom. It's Father's Day. Hooray, cried Froggy. He hopped out of bed and flopped into the kitchen. Flop, flop, flop. He'd been waiting a long time for Father's Day to come. At school, he'd made a special present. And now he was making breakfast for Dad, all by himself. He dropped an egg on his foot. Splat! Oops, said Froggy. Oh, that's another thing that this author does to help us read with expression. He gives us sound words to help us imagine what's happening in the story. What sound did it make when he dropped the egg on his foot? Splat. Froggy, called his dad. What? What's that funny smell? You'll see, said Froggy. So we read with expression when we see that exclamation point. We use our excited voice. Then he served his dad breakfast in bed. Happy Father's Day, said Froggy. I made it all by my, oops, it slipped, splat. Oh, Froggy, said his mom. She scooped it up and Froggy's dad took a bite. Mmm. Thanks, Froggy, he said. The eggshells are nice and crunchy. I don't like my eggs crunchy, but I am noticing that his dad must because the author gave us a sound there too to help us imagine how much he must like it. Mmm. All those M's, we have to stretch them out. I have another surprise for you, said Froggy after breakfast. Did you hear my excited voice? I used it because of the exclamation point. We're going to play golf. For Father's Day, it's your favorite game. You're too little to play golf, said Dad, but you're just the right size to play miniature golf. That's mini golf. Yippee, said Froggy. Let's go. First, you have to get dressed, silly. Oops, said Froggy, and he flopped back to his room to get dressed. Flop, flop, flop. Zap, zip, zim, zoop, zup, zat. I'm ready, cried Froggy. And he and his dad leapfrogged all the way to the fun park. Flop, flop, flop. So Jonathan London, the author, is really good at giving us these sound words. And these sound words will help us read with expression and make us sound like we're really there. It makes the story better. First, cried Froggy, let's ride the bumper boats. Okay, said his dad, then we'll play golf. Froggy sat on his dad's lap, and he helped steer. Whip, splash, whip, splash, oof. They bumped another boat so hard that Froggy bounced up into the air. Whee! Turned a somersault and landed upside down in the boat. Thump! Look at all those E's. Whee! Can you do that with me? All right, so we want to make sure that we are reading all the time, like we're really, really there. It makes the story wonderful. Let's go to the batting cage, cried Froggy. Okay, said his dad, then we'll play golf. It seems like his dad uses a lot of periods. He's just saying sentences. But when Froggy's talking, he uses those exclamation points. He's very excited about things. 
Froggy put on a helmet. Zat! Then he wound up and swung. Oops! The bat flew out of his hands and hit his dad in the foot. Thunk! Now can we play golf? asked his dad. Golf? said Froggy. Why didn't you say so? Let's go! So they flopped over to play miniature golf. Flop, flop, flop. At the first hole, Froggy wound up and started to swing. Oh, I've seen these three dots before. Let's look carefully at those three periods. Hmm. It's not a whole sentence. It's part of a sentence. These three dots make us want to pause. The, the author wants us to pause while we're reading it to sort of build up a wait time like, ooh, we can't wait to see what's coming next, okay? So we're going to pause when we come to those three dots. At the first hole, Froggy wound up and started to swing. Froggy! yelled his dad. What? You're facing the wrong way! This author is so good at making sure that we know when to say something in our loud voice or when to stretch it out. He uses those uppercase letters. We know we don't normally write like that. Most of the letters we ever write or read would be lowercase. So when he goes to all uppercase, he wants us to be louder. And when he puts these dashes in between his letters and puts too many in there, Instead of just W-A-Y for way, he stretched it out. So we have to stretch it out too. Oops, cried Froggy. I knew that. Froggy turned around, then wound up and started to swing. Wait, said his dad. First, you have to address the ball. Address. Hmm. I wonder what he means by that. Oh, said Froggy. Hello, ball. <laughs> no, his dad laughed. I mean, stand with your feet apart and place the head of the club behind the ball. Then swing. Did you hear me read the then funny? I read it differently. I put a little extra emphasis on it. It's because it's all slanty. The word then looks different than the rest of the text. Let's take a look. Oh, said Froggy. Hello, ball. No, his dad laughed. I mean, stand with your feet apart and place the head of the club behind the ball. See how it's slanty? The E in then looks a little different than the other E's. The T here looks a little different than the T up here and the. Do you see how they're all curved just a little bit going that way? Yeah, that's italicized. When an author does that, he wants us to put emphasis on it. He says, stand with your feet apart and place the head of the club behind the ball, then swing. Froggy shrugged then wound up and swung. Bam, bing, boing! The ball bounced off three windmill blades and landed in the hole. Plop! Hole in one, cried Froggy. Holy cow, said Froggy's dad. That was beginner's luck. No way, said Froggy. I'm a pro. Did you hear how excited I sounded on that page? That's because there's exclamation points. And I have to use my excited voice with those. After his dad's turn, it took him, it took him nine times to hit the ball in. Oh, did you hear how I went back and reread that part? I said at first, it took him nine, and then I realized that him is italicized. Once again, the text is sort of slanty. So I had to go back and say him with emphasis. Instead of it took him nine times, I said it took him nine times 
to hit the ball in. And Froggy said, nice try, Dad. They flopped to the next hole. Flop, flop, flop. Do you see anything italicized on this page? Anything slanty on this one? Yeah, the word me. It's just sort of slanty a little bit. Now watch me, said Froggy. And he wound up and swung. Bam! Bing! Boing! And there's those three dots we have to wait. The ball bounced off three towers. And hit his dad smack in the head. Bonk! And knocked him down. Oh no. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Thanks, Froggy, groaned his dad, and he rubbed a bump on his head the size of a golf ball. The rest of the game was fun, though, especially for Froggy. The whole word is slanty. Especially for Froggy. He dove into a pond beneath a waterfall, flop, flop, splash, and came up with seven balls. And when they got back home, Froggy gave his dad his special Father's Day gift. Happy Father's Day, Dad! He tore off the paper. Oh, it's all stretched out. Look how many R's there are. Look how many I's there are. Look how many P's there are. It's supposed to be the word rip, but we only hear three sounds in that. R-I-P. 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 This time we're supposed to put extra sounds in there to stretch it out really long. Let's make that sound together. Rip. Wow, a mug, he said. Yep, said Froggy. I painted the letters all by myself. It says, to the best dad I ever had. Thanks, Froggy, said his dad. This is the best gift I ever had. Wow, there sure were a lot of exclamation points in there. Most of them were from Froggy. When we go back and look at it, I can tell he was excited about something. He was excited to make his dad breakfast in bed. He was super excited to go play mini golf. He was very excited about the bumper boats. He was really excited to go to the batting cage. And he was very excited about playing mini golf. Hmm. He was really excited about giving his dad that mug for Father's Day. I would have to say, I think, the character trait that Froggy showed the most, if we had to describe Froggy in this book, I would say he was excited. I hope you enjoyed this book. Don't forget to practice reading on your own with expression too.